trash in the future. This is how we pick trash wheels in Baltimore. And you have a, a poll. Up I got a poll on up Twitter. online, and I don't even know who's winning yet, but uh, it's one of the Gwyn related names. <laughs> All right, well, let's head out to Stevie. <laughs> Stevie, do you have a, a, a favorite name? Uh-oh. <laughs> I like the Inspector one. <laughs> yeah, Inspector Gwen. Yeah, that, that caught my attention. Um, well, what's also catching my attention is the weather that we're going to be dealing with this afternoon. Right now, we're dealing with tranquil conditions. We are talking about mainly clear skies, but there is some fog out there. Uh, temperatures this morning, not too much of a difference from where they were this time yesterday mainly in the low to mid 70s, 75 degrees down towards Easton and sitting in the mid 70s over by Annapolis. But satellite is still picking up on some of that cloud cover, which will gradually increase as we progress throughout the rest of the morning and into the afternoon, right around midday. So this is right around lunchtime. As you're heading out and about, just make sure you're keeping an eye to the sky. We do stay mainly dry around this time. It's really when we head around the four to five o'clock hour that that stronger line of showers and storms will be slicing in and across the state. We're looking at numerous showers on tap, uh, potentially very strong to severe thunderstorms that could produce damaging wind gusts and even a few tornadoes. Along with that, a heavy rainfall is certainly a possibility, but because these storms look to track pretty quickly across the state, a flash flooding is going to be kept to a minimum. Uh, but in terms of rainfall amounts, we could see anywhere from a half inch to an inch, maybe even localized amounts upwards of two inches uh, could be the case within, within some of the stronger storms. So we are on a level of three out of five. So that is an enhanced risk, uh, not pretty common for this area during this time of year. Again, possible to tornadoes, damaging wind gusts, and large-sized hail. Now is really the perfect time to secure any outdoor loose furniture while you still can. Maybe bring in uh, the furniture, the outdoor furniture, uh, do that early on before the winds really start to pick up. But you'll see areas shaded in that orange under the enhanced risk, not just for Maryland, but parts of Delaware includes parts of uh, southern New Jersey and even northern Virginia. So a lot of locations across the mid-Atlantic region will be dealing with these intense showers and storms today. And they are set to arrive by 3 to 4 o'clock and then continue up until around 8 to 9 o'clock this evening. Uh, looking at your muggy meter, not too much to talk about there in the muggy department. We are going to be dealing with more pleasant conditions for the upcoming weekend. Again, focusing on now tropical storm uh, Nana actually downgraded to a tropical storm continuing to slide over Belize and Guatemala today. And then Tropical Depression Omar, not really much to talk about there, continuing to slide eastward and also losing some of the tropical characteristics. But this weekend, the biggest story, it will be spectacular with high temperatures in the lower 80s and plenty of sunshine. Now over to Lauren.